In Canada, we get some extremely frigid weather. But in the past few weeks, in Edmonton at least, the temperature has been fairly warm. We've had some bouts of very cold weather and it's gone really high on other days. Here's a sample. I've made some of these numbers up just to make the math a little bit more interesting. But we've had temperatures above zero, like positive 8, some positive 12, minus 4, and all of these here. Now look at this last one here. There's no symbol beside it. Is it a positive or a negative? It is a positive. If there's no symbol, it is positive. I'm positive about that. The question asks us to calculate the mean temperature. That's not saying temperatures are meanies. That's just stating that we need to calculate the mean. You know what the mean means? The mean is the average. How do we get average? You know what I calculate class average on a test? You know what I do? I, well, the computer does it for me, but back in the day, we used to add up all the numbers and divide by the amount of numbers there were. So here we have seven numbers. Count them all. We have seven numbers. We divide by seven. If there were eight numbers, you divide by eight. But we have to first do this. We have to add all those numbers up. And without a calculator, we're going to do this without one. We're going to make our imaginary number line, our mental number line, come to life on paper. We are going to start at positive eight. And then remember the trick? We got to look at these symbols. If you want to refresh or go back to that video on adding and subtracting integers that I made, you'll get it. If the symbols are the same, or just watch this. The symbols are the same, you go to the right 12 times. If I go to the right 12 times, will I not land at 20? Isn't that not saying 8 plus 12? Because that's 12. 8 plus 12 is 20. And then I look at the next two symbols, and that says go to the left because they're different symbols. So I go to the left four spots. Am I not going to land at 16? Isn't that just saying 20 minus 4 is 16? Because I'm going to the left, so I'm going that way four times minus. But I'm not done yet. I still have all these to do. One at a time. We have a plus and a minus. That means go to the left 14 times. If I start over here, this is my new starting point. I go to the left 14 times. Am I not going to land at 2? Positive 2. Am I not going to do that? Isn't that just saying start here and go 14? That's like 16 minus 14 is 2. And then I'm not done. I still have this one. The symbols are different again. So I go to the left 18 times. I have to start at 2 and go 18 to the left. You know what I'm going to land at? I'm going to land at negative 16. How did I know that? Because if I go two spots to the left, this is just two spots. This is only two. Right? 2 to 0 is just 2 spots. I'm going to the left, so I'll put minus 2. But I have to go 16 more because I need 18 to the left altogether. It's like you're walking 18 steps this way. Here's your first 2 steps. Now you need 16 more. You're going to get to negative 16. Right? So now we're at negative 16. Now we have to look at these two. We are going to the left again. We are going 5 more steps to the left. Count them. Slowly. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, negative. But then I gotta go, this is a plus. These two are both positive, so I have to go to the right. Five more. So I'm gonna end up where I was. Five more to the right. I'm gonna end up at negative 16, which means my mean is going to be, let's erase this. We'll keep the negative 16. Let's erase all of this really clean it up. My numerator is negative 16 degrees Celsius. My denominator is 7. What do I get if I go 16 minus 7? I'll spare you, spare myself, the thought process and just go 16 divided by 7. That makes 2, let's round it to the nearest tenth. 2 point, what? 2.3. Now you tell me, is it positive or negative 2.3? Ha, I, uh, I kind of accidentally wrote it for you. But why? Well, look, what does this symbol say? Negative. What does this one say? Positive, because there was nothing there. What's a negative divided by positive? Yes, they're different, right? You get negative. What does this temperature mean? What does this number mean here? It means that some days were warmer and some days were colder, but the average temperature was about negative 2 degrees or so. Some days were, of course, warmer, like this day and this day, and some days were colder than two. But if you average it out, on average, you'd say it was about minus two. 
The chart below shows the change in a Minecraft club. Now, these are not people in the club. This is how much, on a day-to-day -day basis, the amount of people changed. And I want to know what the mean change is. What is the average change? What is the average? So on, on the first day, we had four people join. Because it's positive. So more people join. So that's four people joined. On the second day, six people left. How did I know they left? Because it's negative. So on the third day, one person joined. On the fourth day, this should be one negative sign. On the fourth day, just so there's no, just so there's no confusion, one negative sign. On the fourth day, a whole bunch left. Four people. And we want to know what the average is. What's the mean? So we'll do it like we did the last one. We're going to add all these up. This plus that plus that plus that. We're going to divide by four because there's four numbers. What is that going to make us? Who needs a calculator? We'll just do this. We could, once you get good at this, you'll just do it in your head. We start at positive four. We're going to look at these two. Means go to the left. Six spots. So we're going to end up at negative two. That's six numbers to the left. But then we have to go to the right. One spot. So we're going to end up at negative one. And then we're going to go to the left four spots. So we're going to end up at negative five. There it is. We're going to end up there. That's our numerator. Negative five divided by four equals, divide them. Now this is degree, so put your units down. This is going to be negative one point degrees. Did I say degrees? How silly is that? Let's delete. You know what? Let's scribble it out. These are not degrees. This is a Minecraft club. There's no degrees Celsius. These degrees should not be in there. This was a mistake. I was copy paste. See what happens when you copy paste? Copy paste information, it turns into this mess over here. This is not degrees Celsius. These are people joining and people leaving. And the average is going to be about, on any average day, about one person will leave. On an average day, you know, some days more people will leave. Some days, some people will join. But on any average day, you're going to have a decrease in one person per day. Okay, so that's the average right here. Negative 1.25, this is people. And since it's negative, they are leaving. Now, if the club started with 38 people, how many people are in it after the fourth day? Okay, that's no problem. On the first day, there's 38. So we'll put 38. But then four people joined. So now we have 42. But then six people left. So now we have 36. But then one person joined. So now we have 37. And then four people left. Now we have 33. So there's 33 people after the fourth day. For whatever reason, this club is not very popular. More people are leaving than they are joining. Here we got another one. We got the population of Edmonton changed from this much to this much in a period of five months. And I'm asking you to calculate the mean rate of change per month. How much is the average for one month? Okay, let's use some common sense here. Forget this idea of, you know, adding things and subtracting things. How much did the population decrease by? It decreased by 50,000 people. This number down to this number, that's 50,000 gone. You can just subtract them. Go this minus that, you get 50,000. But since they decreased, we need to write minus 50,000 people. This happened over a period of five months. This line here means divide. I'm going to divide these two, and I, you know what I'm going to get if I do that? I'm going to get what? I'm going to get 10,000. Isn't 50,000 divided by five? 10,000? Of course it is. 10,000 people per one month. This is a negative, right? This is a positive. Time is always measured in what? Time is always measured in, yes, time is measured in positive units. So now we have 10,000 people per month are leaving Edmonton. Maybe because it's cold? Some of you right now are thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mr. M, could I not have done this? Could I not have used my strategies that I learned in ratios, set up a proportion, and said 50,000 people left over five months. That's my ratio. 
put an equal sign and put one month on the bottom because it says per month. Kind of like a unit rate. And then cross multiply and divide. That's exactly what we did. I just did it really quick in my head and you get 10,000 people. Make sure that negative is there. Here we got one last question before I let you go. The mean of six integers is 220. Think about what that means. The mean is 220. The mean is 220. There's six integers. Okay, so we have to divide by six because there's six numbers, right? It's like exam scores. When I calculate your average, the average of the class, I add up all the scores and I divide by the number of people there are. Here we have six numbers. So let's set this up here. Why did I do this? Okay, simple. This is how many numbers I have. Number of integers. You always divide by how many integers you have. That's what we've done in the past three questions already, or two questions, or whatever it's been. The answer is always going to be the mean. So the mean always goes on this side, just like you know the answers on the last page. They always went on this side, the mean. The number on the top is always what? The sum. Remember how we add up all the numbers? That's my numerator? Okay, that's the sum. So I'm going to set it up like this. My sum divided by six because there's six numbers and the answer should be 220. The question is, what is the sum? What is that X value going to be? I don't want to know what all the numbers are. I don't care what each individual number is. I just want to know when I add those numbers up, what do I get? What's my answer going to be? You know what you could do here? It's pretty straightforward. You can write the denominator for this number. You know it's a one? Yeah, any number that doesn't have a visible denominator, you know that denominator is one. Now could you not cross multiply and divide? Yeah, okay. Six times zero, zero. Six times two is 12, carry the one, put the two down. Six times two is 12 plus one is 13. And we get 1,320 is our sum. If you add up the numbers, these mystery integers, there's six of them, I'll put these to represent them. If you add them all up, you're going to get 1,320. Divided by six, you get a mean, 220. Ah!